actors from the Nollywood industry have joined in the number of well-meaning Nigerians and corporates sending love and kindness to the vulnerable to cushion the effects of the coronavirus lockdown. National President of the Actors Guild of Nigeria spoke on the essence of their action. Uh, today, we're distributing palliatives, not because we have so much to do, but we have members who are also needing these palliatives because of we are trying to cushion the effect of lockdown, the lockdown. And then secondly, we want to also give out to the public because we have a lot of fans. That's why we chose to relate it in the first place because Nollywood actually started within this environment. There's virtually no actor, no known actors today that will not tell you I started in Surule and from here we moved to another community. We intend to feed about 10,000 people in this project. The former chairman of the organization added his voice by suggesting strategies that could be more effective in dealing with the situation. I'm not in a position to be advising government what they should do now in terms of whether they should continue with the lockdown or not, but I think they should all sit down, go back to the drawing board and um, understand that every society has its own unique and peculiar way of sorting out its own problems. Every society, so, and we are, no, we are no different. So if we can sit down, find a way around it, fantastic. So we all just need to follow the rules, plan ourselves, and, and, and um, try as much as possible to say. The chairman of the committee handling the organization's fight against COVID-19 spoke on the organization's previous efforts in assisting Nigerians, while noting as a lawmaker that there is already a community transmission going on. Track. Firstly, uh, about two weeks ago, we had distributed some foodstuff and uh, hand sanitizers and did a lot of awareness creation. Then that was the first two weeks um, that the government had enforced in, in Nigeria, uh, Lagos, Abuja and Ogun State. But uh, within the next two weeks, we, we also repeated, or we are repeating hopefully by Sunday and Monday, we we'll also distribute food stuff around Suleri again. But um, for today, what we're doing is um, the Actors Guild of Nigeria, and of course I'm a member of the Guild, uh, is also trying to reach out to um, Nigerians as well, letting them know that we feel their pains. Now, I am even more worried, which, what the, which we, I discussed with the commissioner, saying Suleri has a lot of senior citizens, people above 60. So the worry is, it's been shown that the youth can at least manage it. We've not had serious um, reports. But the senior citizens, what's going to happen to them? Now, what we need to do is, this kind of palliatives we are doing, try to assist and explain. You can never stop explaining to them. Frustrations will come out. We must expect all those things. Frustration, people getting angry, people not understanding what's going on. But there must be representatives from government, local government, state government, federal government, every form of representative explaining at every point in time that, my dear people, to be alive, you have to stay away. The community leader of Games Village, one of the communities visited by the organization, expressed gratitude to the organization. Uh, we thank uh, the Athos Gate for this kind of gesture. They brought uh, several food items to the community. So we are grateful. Uh, it's, uh, this is the first uh, 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 thing we, be, we, we receive from uh, uh, non-state actors, that is not government organization. This uh, non-state actors. Uh, we've received several items from the state government, from the council, from Honorable, Honorable Desmond Elliott, and Honorable Speaker. So this one is, uh, came as a surprise to us. As the cases of COVID-19 continues to rise in Nigeria, the hope is that humanitarian efforts will also continue to rise in support of the needy. Reporting for Plus TV Africa, Adebanke Odunui.